back everybody to the right way sports network youtube i'm your host daniel alameda here with the 2020 nfl draft film review in this one we have henry ruggs six foot 190 pound wide receiver from alabama university he is going to be a first round pick and he's projected as the third best wide receiver in this class and i have the same exact grade on him before I get into the film analysis, make sure you guys go download the app Thrive Fantasy for a chance to win a lot of money. They are the official sponsor of the Right Way Sports Network. Download the app Thrive Fantasy. But without much further ado, let's get right into the film of Henry Ruggs. Henry Ruggs' biggest asset is his speed. He is one of the fastest players to come out of the draft in a long time. Not only will he perform great at the NFL Combine in the speed drills, but his speed is also translatable to the football field. It's not just track speed, it is football speed. One of the biggest knocks on Ruggs is that he didn't produce in college like a first round pick. His best season, he had 40 catches for 740 yards, and that is peanuts compared to these other receivers. He wasn't the best receiver on his team, and maybe at times he wasn't even the second best. But the film tells a whole different story. The analytics people love to get caught up in his lack of production, but they fail to look at his film. So let's take a look and see what NFL teams are dealing with. The first play is displaying his absolute game breaking speed. It's a very quick bubble screen, but take a look as soon as he turns the ball upfield on the sideline. He's gone. He is gone. On this play, he was clocked in at 23.27 miles per hour. Just to put that into context for you guys, the fastest speed clocked in an NFL game in the past four years is Tyree Kill. Absolutely no surprise there. But you want to guess what speed it was? It was 23.24. And that, my friends, is slower than the speed that Ruggs hit. That basically means that Henry Ruggs would be the fastest player in the NFL today. That just shows a little bit, just a little bit, about his speed. Let's take a look at another thing about his speed right here. Tua Tugavailoa throws an interception. And right there, there's Henry Ruggs, right? The back of the end zone. It's about 10 yards off of the defender. Take a look as soon as Henry Ruggs gets into gear. And he absolutely hawks up the defender. Right there. Look at his closeout speed. Still about 7 yards away from the defender. His closeout speed is absolutely insane. This shows two things about Henry Ruggs. One, his obvious speed that we're dealing with is dangerously fast. There's no way around it. And two, he has the will to win. He is always one to give his 100% no matter the situation. He will always finish off the play and he is not scared of contact. And that you cannot teach. Adding on to the, his will to win, take a look. He's not scared to block. There is a lot of concern about his small frame, his 190 pound frame that it isn't the biggest. But look, you cannot teach effort. Right here, he gets into the defender and he opens up a lane for his running back. I don't give a damn about his frame being 190 pounds. Effort is something that you cannot teach. And in an NFL wide receiver, you have to have effort in the run game. You have to be willing to do whatever it takes to win. And he does that. Henry Ruggs is not scared of anything. And he will at least try for you in the run game. All right. I decided to do this film review on Henry Ruggs because everyone views him as a one-dimensional receiver, but he is so far from that. He is not only a speedster, but he has the fundamentals of a productive receiver. He's not just a deep threat. He also has a very large catch radius. Just take a look at this. He can make the spectacular catches. Take a look at this right there. Look at this picture. His athleticism is off the charts. He's an athletic freak. He's going to test great at the combine in the broad jump, the vertical jump, and the 40-yard dash. Right here, tell me, please, tell me analytics people that this is a one-dimensional receiver. No, he's not just a deep threat. He is a guy who will go up and make spectacular catches, and he will use his athleticism and his large catch radius to his advantage. Along with this, he's a very effective receiver in the short slant and screen game. First, take a look at his sticky hands. Right here. Boom. Beautiful. Take one more look at this. Top of the screen. This is a very natural catch. This is not a, a forced catch. Very natural. Outside of his body makes the grab. And it doesn't look forced. It's very natural. So let's take a look at this. Right here. Look at the score. 
The game's already over in the second quarter. The game's over, but he still puts in the effort and goes head on into five defenders right here. Look, there's five defenders, but all he sees is the red zone or is the goal line. And boom. Take a look at this one more time. Right there, goes straight on and collides with the defenders. Henry Ruggs is not scared. I don't care that he's 190 pounds. He is not scared and he is physical. People that are concerned about a small frame doesn't matter because that is effort. That is physicality. And like I said, you cannot teach physicality. That is something you are born with. And Henry Ruggs, well, I don't care if he's 190 pounds, he was born with the physicality. His speed opens up so many opportunities for his team. One, the teams have to be aware of where he is at the field at every time. They will always have to play with a deep safety or the corners will have to play with cushion or else Henry Ruggs will absolutely burn you. And two, the deep speed allows for his routes to be more effective. Top of the screen, right here at this point, the defender is very scared that Henry Ruggs is going to beat him deep as this is one-on-one -on -one coverage. So what is what happens is a curl route. And right here, look at the separation that is gained between Henry Ruggs and the cornerback. Take one more look at this. Right here at the top of the route, Henry Ruggs, or the cornerback, is scared of the speed. So right here, creates about two yards of separation based on solely on the threat of him going deep. Right there. When scouting receivers, you have to take into account their potential role in the NFL. He will not be used as the number one receiver. That's not his game. But he will be used to scare defenses. I assure you that no defense wants to defend a guy with this speed. And with him on the field, there is always a chance to break a big play. Along with his game-breaking speed, he makes very clean breaks. He is a... He possesses the skills as a route runner to succeed in the NFL. His routes are very crisp. Take a look at this. Right here. Sets the defender up perfectly. Right here. Sets the defender up as if he's going for a quick slant inside. The defender is parallel to the sideline. And he breaks it back to the outside. Very crisp. And right here, his speed is able to finish off the play. People make out him to be a speedster. But look. You can't tell me that he doesn't have crisp routes. That is very crisp right there. And he just uses his speed to that his advantage. Right there. Here's another example of this. Take a look. Henry Ruggs is going up against Christian Fulton, a top cornerback right here. And just take a look at what he does right here. Line of scrimmage, sets up the cornerback perfectly, has the outside leverage. He could go straight shot deep and be wide open. But what does he do? At the top of his route, he sells the outside move, gets Christian Fulton going to the outside, and runs straight to the middle of the field where he is wide open. That doesn't just happen from speed. That is from route running. Right at the top, look one more time. At the top of the route right there, sells Christian Fulton as if he's going to the outside and gets wide open to the middle of the field. I'm telling you guys, his route running is very solid. He has the potential to be a great receiver, and it's not just because of his speed. We'll finish off right here with my favorite play. Take a look at him at the line of scrimmage. Right here, beats the cornerback at the line of scrimmage. Beautiful. Just look at this. Right there, fakes the outside very quick on his release right there. Very quick on his release. And right here, look, he fakes the post right there. Cornerback is scared right now because he understands he is behind Henry Ruggs. Fakes the post and breaks it back to the outside towards the sideline. Tua doesn't go to him as he sees a wide open Jerry Judy. But right here, that is open. That is open. That does not come from production. For all the analytics people, this was not a catch. It didn't go down in anything in the stat sheet. But just take a look at his route running. That is not a speedster. And I will keep harping on it, guys. He is not a one-dimensional receiver. This is not one-dimensional. This is a smooth, a very smooth route runner that has the skills to gain separation from defenders. A lot of people are scared that he won't be effective because of the lack of production. But guys, go watch the film. Go watch the film. That's all I can tell you right here. If this didn't help you guys, go watch more film on him. Because basically, he has the skills to be a very dangerous receiver. Like I said, he will not be a number one receiver as that's not his game. But he will be a great addition to any offense. And if used correctly, he will be a very dangerous receiver for years to come.
That'll do it, guys. Thank you for watching this edition of the 2020 NFL Draft Film Review. Make sure you guys go like this video right now and subscribe for more. Comment down below any other receiver, a quarterback, a defender, anything you want to see us break down, and we will get right to it. Thank you guys very much. See you next You enjoyed what you just watched, and I know damn well you did. Go subscribe to the YouTube channel for more sports news and debates. Let's go. Come on. Go on now. Pick up the speed. Let's go. Exit out, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I know you got some damn time right now. Let's go, pick it up, let's go. Pick up the speed, let's go. Subscribe to the YouTube channel right here, right now, let's go.